people welcome back to my channel thank you so much as always for joining me today for a brand new video so yeah where to start let's get into it so as you can see i am actually i'm out in nature today i am getting in my happy place in the fields, you've just seen a bit of the B-roll amongst beautiful nature essentially. Um, if it wasn't for me talking right now, you'd literally just hear birdsong, it's absolutely beautiful. And I love to come into nature really just to clear my head, to get away from everything, to take stock, reflect, especially now when I'm off, it's actually the Easter break. Um, that's really funny, a little reminder just popped on my phone that says, what are you grateful for? I'm gonna answer that on this video right now i'm really grateful for beautiful nature that is completely free for me to come into i am so grateful to be healthy physically and mentally and i'm so grateful that i get to do things that fill me up and i have the freedom to do things that make me happy so yeah that is what i'm grateful for in this moment before i sort of give a bit of a life update i'm actually just doing some mindful breathing i'm not sure if you've all heard of wim hof um, and the wim hof method but essentially it involves diaphragmatic breathing and diaphragmatic breathing all that means is you're breathing from your stomach from your tummy um, and you're really focusing on getting your tummy to rise because a lot of the time and um, you probably heard this before when we're in an anxious state when we're in fight or flight we're breathing up here from our chest like if we say <gasps> look from our throat from our chest we're breathing from there when in actuality, we should always be breathing from here, from our belly. So, as I've just shown, when we breathe from our belly, from our stomach, that's really how we should be breathing. So, that's just a little tip from me today, is to check in with how are you breathing? Like, are you breathing from your chest today, from your stomach today, from a bit of both? Um, yeah, it's something that I'm trying to be mindful of all the time. So, let me go and do some breathing, and then I will tell you all the news. Firstly, how amazing is this view? Can you see behind me? I'm on the top of this amazing hill that, again, it's where I walk like pretty much all the time. So, yeah, very impromptu little vlog, live catch up today. Just, just to tell you guys about what's been going on. Um, firstly, I've been immensely busy since January started. So, sorry about the lack of videos I, I tend to put a lot of my focus into one platform and i've found that for me that tends to be instagram alongside my podcast which means because i work a full-time job by the way in case you didn't know i do work at 9 till 5 30 pm job um so youtube sort of it, it it's down at the bottom of the pile it's down at the bottom of the pile there's no easy way to say it so that's sort of been happening alongside that i have been actually navigating a lot of life stuff i've been having a few i was going to say issues but i've had things going on in my personal life with different people and i've had to navigate that and it's been really hard um mentally i've had sort of times lately where i've not been feeling so well and i'm just trying to be honest with you guys and transparent about that i'm in a much better place now and you can probably relate to this when we're going through it at that time we don't speak about it we try to make out like everything's fine and we're just working and we're working on ourselves but normally later on we then do a video like this and we're like actually i'm not i've not been okay so yeah that's my truth right now that i've been struggling a little bit and i'm taking some time out it's actually the easter holiday i'm doing self-care i've been grounding myself you just saw me in the clip doing some mindful breathing i'm really starting to work on my self-care more and i think to be honest with you my self-care completely dipped and, and that's not a positive thing. So yeah, that, that's been happening. So in terms of what else has been happening, I've been doing very well with therapy, navigating therapy, that's been amazing. Alongside that, I have been working on my 
next book. So I keep saying third book, but that's actually not true because I've got one book out, being the best you, and my journal, the best you journal. So I've actually not got the journal isn't really a book. So let's say my second book I'm working on, the title, I don't even know the title right now. What I can tell you is that this book is completely different to being the best you. This is about healing and my healing journey and really digging deep on what I've learned through healing in terms of relationships, past trauma, um, sort of being abandoned by my dad as a child and the effect that's had on my life and really sort of sifting through all of that. So at the moment, I'm just busy writing and it is due to be released, I'm hoping, in summer next year, so in summer 2023. So that's another thing that's happening behind the scenes. Another thing that's very exciting that I'm, I can't wait to show you. I'm not sure if I will do a YouTube video that day because I'm gonna be so busy, but next month, so it's April now, so in May, I'm gonna be having a blessing ceremony. Um, and a blessing ceremony to really mark my spiritual journey, but also to welcome some new, godparents into my life and this is really hard for me to even speak about but essentially I just I made a decision last year to this is really hard to talk about but I'm gonna do it I made a decision last year to distance myself from a lot of my family specifically family on my um my father's side so with that, I had got parents on that side of the family. Um, and I sort of feel like I need to really take a lot of my power back and take, take it back because I was, and I don't, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna go into specifics and go there, but the way I was treated at times when I was younger and as a teenager, it, I felt like a lot of my power was taken away from me. Whether that was in school when I was bullied or whether it was by certain people in my family on, on, the da on my dad's side, if I'm being completely honest, so. Um, I'm getting emotional speaking about it, I don't want to do this, but yeah, um, because of that, because of that, I am getting some, I'm having new godparents at the age of 24, and you might be watching this thinking, that is mad, but to me, it's what brings me comfort, I'm welcoming new people into my life as family, they're going to become my sort of spiritual godparents, if you want to say that, um, I'm not religious, so when I say godparents, I'm not religious at all, I'm spiritual, and that's what the blessing's going to be about, so... Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see all the photos next month. And I'm not sure if I'll do a video because it's going to be a really big day. But yeah, that's that's going to be happening. In terms of what else has been happening, I've just been really working on myself. Um, I've actually recently started having coaching with Steve Denby, who's an amazing mindset coach. So basically, guys, every week I'm doing something, whether it's so therapy is every two weeks and my mindset coaching, holistic coaching is every two weeks as well. And that coaching is really working on like limiting beliefs, working on the spiritual side of things, and obviously therapy is unpacking a lot of trauma and really just unpacking what's been happening over the past two weeks since my last session. And I absolutely love my therapist, so a huge shout out to, to her. She's unbelievable. And a big shout out to Steve Denby. He, he's awesome and I'm loving working on my mindset more. And that's also included me implementing new things into my life. I know it's a very simple thing, but at the start of the video, I mentioned about gratitude and the importance of that. And I've actually started putting reminders on my phone for gratitude and what am I grateful for each day. Um, and that's just forcing me to really be aware of all the blessings and the abundance and the beauty that I have in my life. Like I said, just now being here, look at this guys, look at this. I'm probably not doing it justice, but being here in nature, it's just beautiful. So that's what I'm doing. I'm working on myself, I'm working on the book, I'm planning an amazing blessing ceremony and I'm just trying to do my best really. So yeah, um, thank you for watching this pretty short little video. I just wanted to give you a life update really, but that's essentially what's been happening. I cannot wait to do more videos soon. I wanna do more vlogs, I wanna do more sit down videos. I wanna do more, you know, sort of advice things. And yeah, I cannot wait to see you guys for the next video so take care i hope you're having an amazing day and i will see you guys very soon bye guys